بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء المرسلين سيدنا محمد عبد الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم. Boys and girls, I'm I'm pleasure. I have a pleasure time to talk to you today about Mega Goal for Unit Four and Mega Goal Four for Mega Hall. Today, as you see in this slide, we are talking about the Mega Goal Four. Uh, for the high school and uh, secondary uh, stage for boys and girls. Also, we are going to talk about unit four. Uh, you are what you eat. You are what you eat, page 54 and 55. What I need uh, from you, uh, gentlemen and uh, girls, I want all of you to open your box on that page, 54 and 55, then to focus with me. Here we have all gentlemen and girls are able to learn the functions and the structure, structures about this unit. In this unit, all students are able to learn food eating habits and the expressions of over, accept and decline food and drink. Also, the students are able to distinguish between countable noun and uncountable nouns with quantifiers. Here we have some, any, a few, a lot, much, and many with uh, connected with recipes. Also, the students are able to study also the structures like what? The structures here we have in this unit, we have stress two on two and the three word phrasal verb. Also, students are able to listen for some activities of uh, listening. Also, the, at the end of this unit, you are able to write an essay about uh, a special event, okay? Also, the students are able to discuss accidental food discovery. Well, boys and girls, today we are talking about this food myth. By the way, here we have listening and discussion. discussion. But before that, I want to ask you a question. Like this first question, what is the most unusual thing you have ever eaten? What is the abnormal and what is the most uh, thing that you eat it and you didn't do it before? For example, according to myself, I tasted uh, durian, durian fruit, okay? It uh, grow in um, Malaysia and uh, Indonesia there. It is very healthy and it is a lot of protein there, but it is it has a bad smell about that. If, if you uh, Have you heard about this kind of fruit? Okay, what about you boys and girls? Do you have something like that? Do you, did you eat uh, an, um, an abnormal, unusual uh, food like that one, okay? Here we have the question number two. Are you careful about kinds of food that you eat? Are you healthy? Are you healthy, uh, healthy or not? Are you looking for food that make you healthy? For example, like uh, fresh, uh, fresh, uh, uh, fresh food or uh, vegetables, fresh vegetables, or are you looking for snacks and uh, steaks or uh, fast food that is cooked very fast? What kind of you? you are you eating for a good food for your health or for bad food for your health. What kind of you? From your food, I can guess who are you. For example, tell me what you eat. I can tell you you are healthy man or you are not or healthy woman or girl. Okay, this is about uh, the question number three. Here we have many pictures, gentlemen and girls. We have picture number one. What do you think picture number one? What is it talking about? It's talking about fish. I think according to your mind that you feel that fish is healthy but this kind of fish is very dangerous for your health why because it is it is uh, call it uh, blue fish and it is uh, it is we call it declisi in, in japan and in japan as you know gentlemen and uh, and uh, girls this is if you don't prepare it very well and if you don't cook it very well that you can make poisonous for you and no more than four hours or 24 hours then you will die you will finish your you will life why because a lot of poisons a lot of toxins inside in it if you don't cook it very well and this kind of fish it needs a special chef it needs a special chef for that one number two what is it number two it's talking about uh, uh, dark chocolate 
You like chocolate. I think you like it. All of you, even me, we like chocolate. And chocolate is very healthy, very health and very good for your life. But don't eat it too much. Why? Because if you don't, if you eat it too much, it is make you mm, problem for yourself. Okay. But it has a lot, a lot antioxidants. Antioxidant that we cannot find it in any other fresh food. And many scientists and many uh, doctors that tell us that this kind of uh, food or this kind of chocolate, we call it as uh, dark chocolate or uh, cocoa. It has a lot of antioxidants. What about the third one? Third one, it's talking about uh, vegetables. But what kind of vegetables? Are they fresh vegetables or frozen vegetables? According to your picture and according to your sight, when you see this one, okay, when you see this picture, it, it is look like as, as, as a frozen one, okay? And it has the same high, a lot of minerals and vitamins. A lot of them, they can find it in. When you try uh, fresh vegetables, you have to take one from frozen and to do it. And there are many vitamins. You will see it, in, inshallah, in the next slide. The fourth slide is talking about uh, apple, potato, and uh, onion. This kind of fruit or this kind of uh, vegetables, when you hold your nose and eat them, you don't know how to disting distinguish between them because the smell and the flavor is the most important and if you close it or stiff you uh, stiff up your nose you cannot differentiate between all of them the last one is about the red dye gelatin hair it is like it comes from the central of america and south america and it is it's a, a female insection okay we can f uh, discover it later on by going to the other slides. Okay, gentlemen, let's see the first one, which is blow fish. Okay, I'm going to uh, play this uh, listening. I want all of you gentlemen and girls pay attention for that one and listen it carefully. Then try to open your box. I think mm, page uh, uh, 54, 55, as I told you, 55. Yes, it's 55. You can open it and you can focus on this one. Okay, I'm going to play it now. Okay. Unit four. Yes. Many Japanese restauranters, false. Then read and check your answers. One, many Japanese restaurants serve a kind of fish that can... Unit four, frozen vegetables. Unit four, you are what you eat. Yes. Pages 54 and 55. One. Oh. We have to the other slide. Yes, this one. Five. Red dye produced from grinding up insect and, and onions all taste the same. Three. Many Japanese restaurants serve a kind of fish that can kill diners within hours if it is not prepared. properly licensed chefs to pre deadly toxins, if not properly. Okay, here we have. Blowfish, yes. which are considered a delicacy in Japan, contain deadly toxins. If not properly prepared, eating blowfish can lead to death by poisoning. Victims usually die within 4 to 24 Four. hours of consuming the fish. Blowfish diners count on specially licensed chefs to prepare the fish safely. Yes, we have to go to the other one, which is talking about uh, uh, chocolate. Okay, here we have. Antioxidants. Two. Two, yes. A number of studies have shown that chocolate consumption may reduce the risk of developing heart disease and can... And cancer, yes. A number of studies have shown that chocolate consumption may reduce the risk of developing heart disease and cancer. Scientists believe that antioxidants reduce the chances of developing these diseases. Antioxidants are also thought to enhance blood flow and help maintain healthy cholesterol levels. Dark chocolate and cocoa powder are particularly rich sources of antioxidants. In fact, ounce for ounce, Dark chocolate and cocoa have more antioxidants than antioxidant-rich foods like blueberries and green tea. Of course, it's not good to eat too much chocolate, but it's not a good idea to cut chocolate out altogether either. 
Okay, as you see, gentlemen and girls, this is a kind of chocolate, chocolate okay? Dark chocolate. It is healthy for you and it is reduced the uh, risk of development of disease, heart disease and cancer. And it has a lot of antioxidants, okay? Antioxidant that you see here in the food, okay, it has continued a lot of antioxidant than the rich foods like uh, blueberries and green tea. That means this uh, kind of chocolate is good for your health, but don't eat it too much. Okay, the other slide is talking about uh, vegetables, okay, frozen vegetables. Okay, let's play this one also. As you see this one, it's a, fro a frozen one, okay. Frozen vegetables are uh, uh, at least as, let's see, and to hear this one, okay. I think here from one, yes. And cocoa powder are particularly rich sources of antioxidants. In fact, this is a one. Ounce, dark chocolate and cocoa we have, have to more listen to antioxidants that. than antioxidant rich foods like blueberries and green tea. Of course, it's not good to eat too much chocolate, but it's not a good idea to cut chocolate out altogether either. Okay, number three now. Three. Frozen vegetables are at least as nutritious as fresh vegetables and may sometimes actually be healthier. Fresh vegetables are at their nutritional peak at the moment they are picked. However, they often spend days or weeks in transit, in the produce aisle, and in your refrigerator. Over time, vegetables lose vitamins and minerals. However, Frozen vegetables are picked and frozen at their peak. Freezing locks the vitamins and minerals in. When you do buy fresh vegetables, try to pick out ones that seem fresh and have been grown locally. Yes, do you like fresh uh, vegetables or frozen one? Just you, you have to taste this one and test this one and you have to make some uh, of uh, vegetables by different ways. Okay, the last one or the one before the last we have here this kind of slide which is talking about different kind of flavors. We have here onion as you see, potato and apple. If you eat any of one, any one of these, okay, and you sift your nose without looking of it, you don't know what kind of taste is it, okay? You don't know how to differentiate between the flavor from each other by sifting. And you know, aroma and uh, uh, flavor is very important for this one. Okay, let's play this uh, listening and to see it, okay? Fresh vegetables are at their nutritional peak at the ooze vitamins and minerals. Try to pick out ones that seem fresh and have been grown locally. Okay, now, number four. four. Up to 80% of taste comes not from our taste buds, but from our sense of smell. Yeah, smell. Taste buds allow us to identify bitter, salty, sweet, and sour flavors. Flavors, yeah. But we depend on the smell of foods to give us most of our sense of flavor. Flavor, yes. So without smelling the aroma of a food, it is difficult to distinguish one flavor from another. Incidentally, this is why food loses its flavor when you have a stuffed up nose. Yes, this is. Do you agree with me or not? Okay, do you agree that if you sifted your nose and to eat any kind of fruits or something uh, or vegetables, can you differentiate between flavors, sense of flavors or not? If you agree, give me the reason behind that one. Okay, the other slide is talking about the last one, which is uh, Chaltin, okay? Here we have, I'm going to play this one, which is talking about this insect, okay, we call it uh, cochineal and caramel, that this comes from the shells of the female cochineal insect that is found in the South and Central of America. This kind of the red, okay, deep red color, deep red color. Okay, let's play this activity listening for you and in order to pay attention for that. Okay, listen. Candies and gelatin food it is difficult to distinguish one flavor from another. Yes. Incidentally, this is why food loses its flavor when you have a stuffed up nose. Okay, now the last slide Five. for this one. Many food items with a deep red color, including fruit juices, candies, and gelatin, and gelatin include yeah. dye called cochineal, cochineal or carmine. carmine. 
This dye comes from the shells of the female cochineal insect, which is found in South and Central America. The dye has been used for centuries and dates back to the Aztecs. Okay, thank you for this part of listening. We have to go to the, this slide. Okay, as you see here, gentlemen and boys, uh, we talked about the three previous questions, about the first question and the second question and the third question. We talked about that abnormal or unusual food that you tasted before or you ate it before and we talked about the kind of food you are looking for, a special kind of food or you eat whatever you want, okay? Uh, the third question, you are, as I told you, you are what you eat. From what you eat that I can know who are you, okay? You are healthier or not, okay? Now we have to put T and F, true or false for this question. Question number one, as you see here, gentlemen, we have many Japanese restaurants serves a kind of fish that can kill the dinners within hours. If it is not prepared, probably. Yeah, if it is not cooked very well, that it will be kill them. They will die. This is true, okay? The second one, the second question, eating chocolate has been linked to an increase in heart disease and cancer. Do you agree with that? Increase or reduce? The opposite of increase, decrease, okay? It is increased? No, at, at all. It is decrease and uh, reduce the heart disease and the cancer and it is false this is the correction one we call it this one decrease not increase number three fresh vegetables are healthier than frozen vegetables it is no i do i disagree with this point it is not uh, healthier both of them have the same mineral and vitamins even the frozen one okay as uh, in the text before okay the fourth one apples potatoes onions all taste the same when you eat while holding nose when you eat when you're holding your nose okay that means you don't differentiate between them you cannot distinguish between these uh, kind of sense of levers okay the last one red dye produced from grinding up insect is used in many food items this slide or this is the end of this slide and it is true Okay, gentlemen, here we have the other slide which is talking about the explain in English, the meaning of these words, okay? We have here different meanings of these words, okay? We can put it here like this one, okay? Like this one, we have to put it. Unit Yeah, this one like true, false, yes, F, and T, and T also. And here we have to find words in the quiz that mean. That means explain it in English. What does it mean in English? Can you explain these words in English? Okay, number one, we have here an expensive or a hard to find food. What do you call it? Here we have delicacy. Okay, here the meaning of, we can find it in paragraph number one, which is the blue fish. Blue fish. The second one is talking about poisons. What do you mean by poisons? Poisons, uh, poisons that uh, are liquid that make you to die or that lead you to die, okay, or kill somebody, okay. We call it in English taxon, no? taxons, okay. The third one we have here, having legal permission to do something. What does it mean, this one? It means uh, license. If you have a license, for example, if you wanted to drive your car, what should you do? Okay, you have to, to bring a license, okay? A license, that means a permission or allowing uh, to do something or to, to drive your car, okay? Here we have the fourth one, to keep something in a good shape, to maintain, it means to maintain, to maintain something, to keep it for something, uh, good in a special uh, shape okay the fourth one or the fifth one is the highest point the highest point it means the lowest and the highest we have the lowest point and the highest point that means the peak the peak is the the last one the last or the highest one okay here we have peak okay Number six, we have fragrant smell. That smell, smell, to smell something. Smell, it means aroma. Here we have, it's aroma. Okay, we have to move to the seventh one, which is uh, talking to about to be able to identify one from another, one from another, okay? 
here we have gentlemen and uh, girls it's talking about the the, the, the differentiation between the meaning, okay? The explaining and the meaning, okay? Here, distinguish, that means are able to identify one from another, to distinguish between two things, okay? And all of these gentlemen and girls, you have to pick a piece of paper and write it in English, and write it also, you have to memorize it, and to keep it in your mind, okay? Because this is the meaning of other, uh, or the synonyms, we call it the synonyms, okay? The synonyms of these words, uh, like uh, hard, uh, delicacy, poisons, uh, taxonyms, uh, permission, license, uh, uh, good shape, maintain, uh, highest point, peak, and uh, fragrant smell, aroma, and the last one which is able to distinguish between different things to distinguish between for example to, to, to distinguish between uh, uh, different kinds of animal to distinguish between people to distinguish between uh, syllables to distinguish between box to distinguish between that means one from another okay for example to distinguish between fruit and vegetables that means to distinguish that to, to separate between them to divide it between them and to differentiate between them okay here we have the last slide is talking about are these statements are they true or false according to the passage before we talked about the passage before okay number one is talking about victims victims that the person who is dying from something else okay or from something or from causing from poisoning from snakes from scorpion from accident whatever victims okay or here we have or from or whatever here Victims of bluefish poisoning uh, uh, suffer months of illnesses before they die. One month? No, it's not one month. Four hours or 24 hours. Only one day then he will die. He will or she will finish. Because as I told you, bluefish, if you don't prepare it very well, you will die. It needs special shares. Not all, not all the people that, that can cook it or that can prepare it. It needs a special chef, okay? And it talks about special one, okay? Taxonomes, uh, uh, antioxidants can help prevent the development of heart disease. Okay, here we have, we will see, false, okay? As I told you, the correct one, okay, before. The second one, antioxidants can help prevent the development of the heart disease. Is it true or false? According to the passage and according what you have read, okay? Is it T or F? You see here, it is true, okay? The second one is true. The third one, blueberries, okay, blueberries are the food riches in antioxidants. No, I disagree with this one. No, it's, uh, you know, we have antioxidant for dark chocolate. It's false. It's false. This one is false, okay? We can put T for true and F for false. Okay, number four. We have here fresh vegetables are, are at their uh, nutritional peak when they are cooked. Okay, this is false also. Okay, number five, our taste buds are uh, responsible for only 20% of what we think of as taste. Do you think, is it correct or not? Around 80 percentage is the other side. Okay, here we have 20. It's uh, correct. Okay, it's T. And the last uh, one, which is uh, cochinal, has only been used as a dye for the last few decades. Do you agree with this point or not? According to the passage, the previous passage, do you agree this is correct or not? Okay, as you see here, it's false. Okay. By this unit, gentlemen and girl, we are talking about mega goal four for the highest schools. Okay, this is the first for unit four. Okay, and we have now to conclude this one. Thank you for listening and uh, goodbye.